Can you tell us a little bit about the main symptoms of Parkinson's? Well, Parkinson's can be broken down sort of roughly into what we call the motor symptoms and the non-motor symptoms. And the motor ones are the ones that usually they come to the neurologist for. The slowness, the, the stiffness, the tremor. Uh, you'll see often sort of telltale signs like a slightly stooped posture mm -hmm. and a slight sort of masking of the expression. Then there are the non-motor symptoms, things that are sometimes don't bring them first to the neurologist. They may end up with the gastroenterologist or the orthopedist where they're just not, mm -hmm. you know, they're just not feeling quite the same. They sort of feel slower. They may have some GI issues, constipation. They may have change in their sense of smell. Uh, they may have any variety of, of symptoms that are sort of diffuse. And it's only when you start putting all these motor and non-motor symptoms together that you realize mm -hmm. that it's a picture that is consistent right, with Parkinson's. Right. And we've seen that a number of non-motor symptoms sort of antecedent or begin before, years before um, the motor sy symptoms set in. Right. Um, can you talk about some of those uh, non-motor symptoms? So uh, we alluded to some, but sometimes going back even 10 years yeah. before the diagnosis, patients will tell you, you know, my sense of smell has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, they may say, you know, I've been acting out my dreams. Right. Um, or they may not say it, their, their spouse or whoever's sleeping right. with them may say, you know, he's kicking and thrashing. And that started years ago. Uh, and so we, we think that these are things that are happening earlier than that sort of critical point where the, the more classic symptoms begin. Right. Tell us a little bit about when you're with a patient, how you go about examining them to really figure out if they truly have Parkinson's disease? Well, some of it is sort of the history and, yeah. and, and getting a sense of the pace of things because Parkinson's is usually slowly progressive. Mm -hmm. So it's this sort of incremental changes in, in life. You know, it may be something like saying that, you know, he used to walk, you know, step by step with me and now he's mm -hmm. two steps behind mm -hmm. these little things. And then there's this sort of gestalt on the exam, what somebody sort of overall looks like when they're sitting there, mm -hmm. legs folded or their expression. Sure. And then the fine details that we've become sort of expert at as a, as a movement disorder neurologist of, of getting a sense of a patient's tone, of getting a sense of the fluidity of their movements is something we take mm -hmm. for granted, but that very subtly can be changed and we may not even be aware of it. The way we swing our arms when we walk, the way we turn, um, can become somewhat sort of blocky or robotic, and mm -hmm. those are some of the things that we look for.